I see it, so I've been waiting for this one to eat the pottage. I'm really. I've been done like one second. Sooner than one of this product, it just didn't end the fact I wasn't going to come in three to four months. Maybe. That's when they were thin shitty guy launched. So, in other words, I released it to warehouses of sales like, and the end sales agents, which won't take another, well, in my area, month to even acknowledge it exists. Uh, I swear to God, it's getting more and more like Robin America. Uh, down under, you know, just because something's hypothetically available does not mean you can necessarily get it. And it's got nothing to do with the fact it's a giant country and there's lots of tiny little companies who cover reasonably small geographies. Almost every brand here that is sold in a grocery store is genuinely national. All the grocery stores make it so on their own back. That has been complete and utter toad polishers playing such games. They really are. That's why I'm thankful this one had such a quick turnaround. It's the streets Golden Gay Time inspired by cats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chillest Mount Americans. Yeah, bloody should be. <laughs> and for those good gay time. Gay times. Ah this is like in the 1860s version of a gay time. Golden happy time. If I a bit of history, 14 year old cock smack on Twitter, you factually illiterate moron. It's like, oh, I'm offended because, well, on the behalf of gay people, you're offended of golden happy times. You hate gay people, in other words. You homophobic twat. Awesome. Kind of. Right. I'll tell you, it's kind of looking good, to be honest. And for those white royalties digging, I mean, Strictly speaking, as a colour, like look at car paints, finding the chocolate brown metallic is like finding the perfect British race of green. It is an art in itself. Freaky, but this is this is awesome. This is awesome. This is literally the next best thing. Actually, having a lot of toto ah pumps. Even the ah make it correct spelling if they're generic. Unfortunately, it's not quite perfect. The um. Pops themselves out of these sort of smashed up biscuit crumb more than the actual pops, which is well, it's shown as such a box, but yeah, I would have I, I, 10 out of 10 right there, and then if it was actual cow pops, the biscuit I mean, cool. No, no. We're going to be 20 out of 10. Oh. 
and the flavor is um well that's what I get to it's not quite perfect the flavor is weird I mean it, it's literally like having to come up so you get the chocolate in there you get a lovely biscuity crunch at a gay time gay all the time it's all absolutely gorgeous and you get the little white bit that's meant to be milk or milky and or oh, even milky bit Oh, that's sucking and creaming, full money where it brings together the cocoa and the chocolate and themes and just makes it just one. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good experience. Well, and, and it's seen it taste rather rank. It, um, it tastes like that long line of milk you left in the fridge a bit too long and it's it's not only on stale, but you swear to God, it's actually starting to get mouldy. Is it? Ooh. It gives you a strong fortitude, it won't try and kill you. But you're happy you finished it also today, your cocoa pops. So, um. Wow. Awesome idea, great application. Now, everything except for the bit in the middle. Oh my god, they've got that biscuit crunch and the sort of chocolatey caramel. Oh, oh, it's so good. You could almost forgive the some semi rings and long like milk. Oh, it's like the excellent Easter egg. You could forgive a lot. Intellectually, analyzing it, it's basically it's a complete polished turd. But you'll forgive anything because it's so damn moorish. You can't stop picking at it and nibbling away at it and just eating bits of it. I mean, it's, ah, and this is exactly the same. You analyze it factually, but man, what a spit polish. <laughs> as as Biff has put, you really can polish your dirt and they have done a brilliant job here, but it's purely intellectually speaking a turd. God, I hate when they do this to me. I really do. Um, but I'm not that, yeah.